AVG mining user data, space engines using metal as fuel, Facebook adding a dislike button, and malware infected apps from the Apple App Store. These are today's bits. Mining user information is all the rage nowadays. Companies are quickly finding out that they can earn more money by collecting information on people and then targeting them with ads than they can actually make money from selling their own product. Take Windows 10 for example. Microsoft offers it for free to the world in exchange for allowing them to see anything and everything that they do. And it's a heavily developed operating system and it takes a lot of money to complete. So it's no surprise when we hear more and more companies are jumping on this bandwagon of money by offering their own free software. Well, if you happen to be one of those kind of people who try to, within reason, maintain some of your privacy, then you might want to avoid the antivirus suite from AVG. AVG has recently started using a more easy to read privacy policy, which as it turns out, made it easy for people to notice that they were being spied on. To be more specific, they were tracking people's browsing and search history. So if you're using AVG, feel free to uninstall it after this video. A new metal powered engine has just been patented that can get an estimated 220 pound object all the way to Mars and back off of only 44 pounds of magnesium. What's even cooler is that the same engine can technically use many different types of metals as a source of fuel. So it could harvest old space satellites or space junk, maybe even mine asteroids in the future if needed. It's basically just a patent at this point and it's nowhere near as cool as something like a warp drive, but hey, I love space. Speaking of space, NASA is going to launch a 4K TV channel in the US to showcase beautiful Ultra HD video. They plan on broadcasting 24 hours a day without commercials, and it's due to launch on November 1st, 2015. And yes, it will be streamable online. So if you ever wanted to stare endlessly at a computer screen and search for aliens, now's your chance. Well, actually you kind of already have that chance, but now it's in 4K. Yay. If you use Facebook, then chances are you've seen a few posts about them adding a dislike button. And it's kind of true, but not really. As it turns out, they're actually looking to add a new button that will serve more towards showing empathy for a post rather than actually disliking it. So no thumbs down button is coming anytime soon. It's not clear on exactly what's gonna be used as the icon or what they're gonna call it, but we do know that it will be used as something to say like, I'm sorry to hear that, or that's bad news. Think of it as a sad face that you can click if somebody makes a post about running over their neighbor's cat. And contrary to popular internet belief, Facebook will not be deleting posts with more than 10 clicks of this unknown button. Just saying. Well, it was bound to happen at some point. Apple's App Store has officially been breached with malware. Going down in history as their first sustained App Store security breach, a modified version of Xcode, which is used in development of apps, spawned the malware known as Xcode Ghost. Originating from China, this malware was capable of displaying fake phishing dialogues, opening URLs, and reading and writing the clipboard data. The worst part is, is that it only made its way into the App Store because developers were tricked into using the Xcode source from an alternate website because it was faster to download than it was from Apple. <laughs> if you liked what you saw today, make sure to smash the like and subscribe button below. Thanks for watching.